gram and kilogram in this module you will understand the relationship between grams and kilograms Sid and Sophie are playing outside the house Uncle Joe a fruit seller passes by suddenly Sid asks Sophie that would she like to have orange juice as his mother makes it very tasty Sophie nods her head in agreement Sid asks his mother Mother Uncle Joe a fruit seller has come if you don't mind can you make some orange juice for Sophie and me Mother replies Yes sure let's go to buy oranges Now Mrs Ria goes with Sid to Uncle Joe the fruit seller and asks for 500 grams of oranges After some time Mrs Ria asks Uncle Joe to weigh more oranges as these oranges wouldn't be sufficient for three of them Uncle Joe says Now the weight of these oranges is more than 500 grams Is this enough Now Sid questions his mother What does this mean by more than 500 grams Mrs Ria replies First we weigh the oranges equal to 500 grams But now as we have put more oranges in this pan then it goes down which concludes that now the weight of oranges is more than 500 grams Again Mrs Ria asks the fruit seller to weigh the oranges about 1 kilogram as Sid's father is also on the way to home and that wouldn't be enough for all of them now sid asks mother can we say the weight of oranges is now more than 1 kilogram mrs ria replies absolutely correct sid uncle joe says but if i remove one orange from this pan then it weighs equal to 1 kilogram sid asks but mother why uncle joe has used different weights These weights are more than one in number and how you can say these oranges weigh 1 kilogram Mrs Ria answers said look the total weight of the weights in this pan is 1 kilogram on adding the weights uncle joe has used we will get 1 kilogram let's add 500 grams plus 200 grams plus 200 grams plus 100 grams is equal to 1000 grams and we know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram sid replies but mother how can you say this 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram mother says look when we place 1 kilogram weight here both the pans are in balance It shows that when the weighing balance is in balance then the weights on both the sides are equal Now Mrs Ria asks them to look at the pan balance carefully She explains Let's place 1 kg weight on this pan and 1 500 g weight on this pan Now to balance the 1 kg weight we need to place another 500 g weight on this pan Now Sid interrupts Mother that means 1 kg can be expressed as 500 g plus 500 g which is equal to 1000 g Mrs Ria replies Absolutely correct Let's recap We have learned that the weight can be measured as more than or less than There is 1000 g in 1 kg We can use different weights to measure 1 kg. All those weights must sum up to 1000 grams.